Binghamton took the series opener 2-0 on Tuesday, a pair of solo home runs powering the Ponies' offense, and that's how Binghamton would open the scoring on Wednesday. Second batter of the game, Jake Mangum, sending this Josh Hendrickson offering deep and gone to left. Mangum second of the season, giving the Rumble Ponies a 1-0 lead. Hendrickson would settle in after that, Redding starter scattering three hits and one walk across the next five frames. He tossed six innings of one run ball in total, striking out five. And unlike Tuesday, the R Phil's bats supported their pitchers on Wednesday. Leadoff batter Daniel Brito making sure thoughts of a second straight no hit night ended early, leads things off with a two bagger to right center. That before Bryson Stott ends Binghamton's quest for a second consecutive shutout. Redding's second batter of the night, sending one way out of here. Stott's fourth home run of the season, third at First Energy Stadium, puts the Fightins up 2-1. to one. That score would hold into the sixth when the r Phils would gain some separation, thanks to back-to-back -back blasts from the middle of the batting order. First, it's cleanup hitter Madison Stokes, who launches one deep and gone to left. Stokes' third of the year, a three-run bomb, putting Redding in front 5-1. Before Rodolfo Duran follows that with a moon shot of his own. Left fielder Carlos Cortez didn't know where it was. It didn't matter. Duran's second of the season had the Fightins in front 6-1 through 6. Rumble Ponies didn't retreat to the stable, though. Binghamton responding with a pair in the top of the seventh, both coming with two away. First, it's Cortez who shoots one into the right center field gap. That brings Yoel Romero home before Cortez comes around on this looping liner in the left off the bat of Jake Mangum. A 6-3 game through seven, it'd be 6-4 Redding in the bottom of the eighth after an RBI single from Romero in the top half. Fightins, though, get some much-needed insurance. Two on with one away from McCarthy Tatum, who blasts one to straightaway center. Ball caroms off the wall. Stokes and Duran both come around on the two-run triple by Tatum. Eight four fills going into the ninth where those insurance markers would loom large. Ponies plate two more on a two-run dinger by Mark Vientos, but that's as close as Binghamton would get. Redding hangs on for the 8-6 to six victory. Braden Zarbniski gets the four-out save, his second of the season. Hendrickson, meanwhile, earns the win, also his second of the year, as the Fightins earn their 11th win in the last 15 ball games. On the scene at First Energy Stadium in Redding, I'm Dan Freemuth for the Service Electric Network.